Why is living life and dealing with people so complicated, so many might ask? We have these incredible words of wisdom from the commander of the faithful Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. As is narrated within Nahj al-Balagha, the Imam alayhi salam states, خَالِتُ النَّاسْ مُخَالَتَةً إِنْ مِتُّمْ مَأَهَا بَكَوْ عَلَيْكُمْ وَإِنْ إِشْتُمْ حَنُّوا إِلَيْكُمْ He gives us this simple recipe for how to live life, a life of merit, a life of virtue, and a life that undoubtedly leaves behind an incredible legacy. The Imam alayhi salam, he says, live with people in such a way. And when the Imam says live with people in such a way, it starts with us understanding and recognizing that we have to be a creature who is social and engages those within our community. Look, it would be really easy for many people to avoid all of the complications of relationships. People come to me every single day trying to navigate the difficulties and the challenges of relationships with their spouse, with their parents, with their children, with their friends. That's the life that we live. Unfortunately, fortunately, we are bound in terms of how we engage other individuals. But once we accept it and we recognize that dealing with people is part and intrinsic of what it means to being a human being, we can start to approach it with a more positive mindset. The Imam alayhi salam states, Khalitun nas. مُخَالَتَةً Mix with people and engage with people and spend time with people. But in order for it to be successful, then make sure that you fulfill these two prerequisites. خَالِتُ النَّاسْ مُخَالَتَةً إِنْ مِتُّمْ مَأَهَا بَكَوْ عَلَيْكُمْ That if you were to die tomorrow, that the day would weep over you. Can you imagine? That on that day when I will be lowered into my grave, will people around me have any sense of relief that I'm no longer there? I don't know. But I need to make sure that I engage and fulfill my responsibilities to others to that extent that everyone in this dunya, whoever experiences any relationship with me, that at the very least, they won't speak poorly about me and that they'll only remember me positively. That means that I should be so focused and so diligent in terms of caring for the way that I speak, the way that I embrace, the way that I engage with those at work, at school, at home, and undoubtedly those who are closest in my family. That we have to live in such a way that we leave behind such a legacy that no one has any negative thought of us after we leave this world, but rather I leave behind such a legacy with my words, with my wisdom, with my presence, with my advices, with the way that I engage with people through jokes or sarcasm or whatever it might be, or through my wealth or through my charitable contributions, whatever it might be, that if I were to depart tomorrow from this transient world into the world beyond this one, that those around me would weep and that they would grieve because they would realize what a loss that this world has seen due to my departure. He states, in ma'aha bako alaykum wa in ishtum hannu ilaykum. But at the same time, while we're alive, we should live in such a way that people, they desire and they crave to being in our company. What does that mean? And how do we get to that level? There are undoubtedly people that we interact with during the course of our lives who we much rather not be in their presence for the most of the week, for instance. And then there are other people who we love to be in their company. We love to sit with them. We love to eat with them. We love to talk to them. We love to converse with them. We love to joke with them, whatever it might be. How do I be the individual who people love to be in my company? Through my words, through my actions, through my behaviors. It's so important for us to take these words of Imam Ali alayhi salam and reflect upon them, contemplate upon them, and think about how we can transform our lives to truly being that source of light for all of those around us. I'll leave you with this example. On the last days of the life of Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, there was a companion of his, a man by the name of Asbagh ibn Nubata. Asbagh ibn Nubata, he comes in the company of Imam Ali alayhi salam as he's on his deathbed, in his last moments of his life. And he is weeping in the company of Ali salam Allah alayhi. And the Imam alayhi salam says, Ya Asbagh, la tabki, innaha wallah jannah. He says, oh Asbagh, don't weep for me, don't grieve. He says, in front of me, I see paradise. To which Asbagh responds with this epic line. He says, oh Amir al-Mu'mineen, I don't weep and I don't grieve and I'm not crying because I'm worried about where you're going. I'm worried about me. 
what is life like without Ali ibn Abi Talib When we leave from this world, people should wonder and they should think, what is life like without that individual? What is life like without you or I? How can I transform my life from this very moment that I leave behind that legacy and that impact for those around?